Welcome to CEO of You. In this blog series, we've been talking about the subject of dreams. More specifically, my brand new ebook, Seven Reasons Why You Don't Pursue Your Dreams and What You Can Do to Overcome Them to Get the Life of Your Dreams. Today, we're going to talk about reason number one. Most of you could probably guess the number one reasons why you don't pursue your dreams. And if you guessed it, you're probably right if you thought fear. That's right, fear is the number one reasons why you or I, reasons why we don't pursue our dreams. In these blog series, I will relate the reason to a certain disease that kind of exemplify how that particular reason affect our lives and affect the dream that we have. So fear is our number one reason. I like to think of fear as heart disease. It hits you at your core. You know your ticker. It really helps you function. Without it, you, you die. You're not able to do anything. And that's what fear does. Fear paralyzes us. Fear causes us not to go forward. There are some fears that make sense. And it's just basically a way to keep you safe. So I'm not saying all fear is bad. There is some fear that is there to create safety. However, there is such a thing as illogical fear. And that's usually fear of the unknown. Not knowing what's going to happen. And sometimes that can create a certain type of fear inside of us and that can inhibit us from pursuing our dreams. We're not sure if we'll be able to make it. We don't know what will happen if we take the step forward. We don't know if we'll succeed. So we become afraid of the possibilities that may exist. And that's the thing with illogical fear. It's just, it's possible but it doesn't mean it's really going to happen. So fear is the number one reason why we don't pursue our dreams. Do we all have fear? Yes. Do I have fears? Yes. And you're going to feel afraid. So I'm not saying that you will reach a point in your life where you'll never feel afraid. As a matter of fact, sometimes the bigger the dream that you have, the bigger the fear that you'll experience. The so fear is not really the problem in itself, is what you do with it that's important. How do you respond to your fear? Do you let it paralyze you or do you take action? Or do you use it as a means for preparation? How do you deal with your fear? Well, I have three steps that I can share with you on how you can deal with fear. Number one, acknowledge it if you're feeling afraid there's no reason to lie and pretend that you're not feeling that way you might as well just know i'm afraid and i recommend that you have someone you can talk to you can share your fears with that way you can be honest about it and then they can also help shed some light for you admit it i'm afraid i don't know i'm not sure i'm afraid of stepping forward number two is expose it if you are feeling afraid, then acknowledge it and then expose it for what it is and take an action opposite of your fear. If the fear turns out to be something illogical, the fear say, don't do this or don't, don't start right now, start later, because if you start right now, then you don't know if you'll succeed or just put this back because you may not make it. Don't listen to that, just take opposite action of what your fear is telling you. So number one is acknowledge it. Number two is expose it and take opposite action of what the fear is. And number three, which is probably my favorite way to overcome fear, is to practice gratitude. Because when you start feeling thankful, it helps redirect your thinking, redirect your mind to a different place, and that usually reduces your fear and increases your faith. 
Gratitude is important. When you start feeling afraid, think about the things in your life that you're grateful for. Think about the things that you have been able to accomplish. Think about the positive outcome that you had before. Think about the things you used to be afraid of that you're no longer afraid of. These help you overcome the fear or the inactivity that can come from fear. So the reason number one why we don't pursue our dream is fear. And I've given you three tips on how you can overcome it. Number one, acknowledge it. Number two, expose it and take opposite action. And number three, practice gratitude. A merry heart is good medicine. Practice that and that will help you overcome your fear. This is a blog series on the CEO of you. We're talking about seven reasons why we don't pursue our dreams and what we can do to overcome them. It is my newly published ebook. If you want to get a copy of the ebook, you can get it on my website, drlorettajustin.com, or it's also available on amazon.com. I was very happy to be able to share with you today. Until next time, remember to dream big, take risks, and become the CEO of you.